Hello, this is J.M. Balakana of MobileTechPanai.com and working from home has been a challenge for me in recent months because when does work end and the house chores begin? In fact, anyone who's been working from home knows it can be difficult to separate the two. Now, I've always been curious about robot vacuums, but the truly intelligent ones that are smart enough to navigate your home can go for about 10 to 15,000 pesos with a warranty. You can get one with no warranty and pray it doesn't break down, but a vacuum has too many moving parts for me to consider that. Now, I've never looked at any of the super cheap ones as more than toys that are capable of picking up dust, but then on Facebook, I saw a friend of mine who had bought one and was pretty happy with it, so I thought, why not? It might even make for a good video. The one we ordered was roughly 1,200 pesos and has four different functions. So it's a sweeper, vacuum, has a mopping function, and UV disinfection. The instruction manual is multi-language and surprisingly informative. It also comes with a set of accessories. The first one is a cleaning brush. Next is a charging cable that can be plugged into a regular USB wall charger. It's also a tiny screwdriver, although you won't use it a lot in day-to-day -day operation. Finally, there's a tiny flap of cloth, which I assume is for mopping, but it's so thin, it's difficult for me to take it seriously at this point. Now, one bonus tidbit is this screw, which seems to have come loose. I tried screwing it back in with the conveniently provided screwdriver, but alas, the hole was stripped and there was no way I was getting it back in there. One of the reasons I chose this particular robot vacuum is because it looks sleeker than the other cheap ones in its price range. Most of them look like toys, quite honestly. This one could even pass for one of the pricier models, at least until you turn it on and it exhibits none of the intelligence you would pay 10,000 to 15,000 pesos for. Another bonus, the protective cap protecting the directional wheel was easily damaged with one of the pegs that would keep it in place breaking off, which is fine since you'll never need to put it back anyway. Okay, so I did test out the mopping feature and it sucked and not in a good way, even if this is a vacuum. The cloth was too small to mop up a lot of liquid or hold it in for that matter. And the robot was much too random when it was going about for this to be an effective feature. Of course, I did test out the other features, and before we get into that, please consider giving this video a like or subscribing for more videos like this. You can also enable notifications by clicking on the bell below. That way you'll get updated whenever there's a new video from this channel. This would really help out this channel's growth. Anyway, opening it up requires snapping off the top cover, and who knows how durable the plastic is since you'll need to take it off after every cleaning to access the internal dustbin. Speaking of which, you'll find a filter inside the dustbin, which the included brush will come in handy for when cleaning it out. Unfortunately, it's not all that large, though it's not that difficult to remember to clean it out after every cleaning run. Here you see the intake which connects to the dustbin and feeds into the actual vacuum, Put it all back together and you start to get a sense for how the vacuum works. Thankfully, it's far from complicated and just requires the push of a button. Let's take this thing for a spin. Uh oh. And it's going all over the place. <laughs> Obviously, it's not very smart. I deliberately put some dirt in its path and it just randomly swerved into a different direction. It does clean though, as evidenced by the amount of dirt it was able to pick up after about an hour, despite the relatively clean room. And a big thing it has going for it is it's able to fit in hard to reach areas like underneath a sofa or a bed. Now, I know what you're thinking. After talking this much trash about it, I can't still possibly have anything good to say about it, right? 
Well, I still like it because I can let it do its thing while I focus on working. Sure, it's nowhere near as efficient as a truly smart vacuum that's capable of navigating your home and not going over the same spots twice. Due to how random it is, it's going to go over some spots repeatedly and other spots not at all. This problem is amplified exponentially the larger the room is, and if you think about it, I could probably do in 15 minutes what it can do in about an hour. But chores have a habit of creeping up on you, and if I can automate one thing out of my day, I'm happy to pay 1,200 pesos for however long this lasts. I'll only be using this for our small bedroom though, which we use most often, while cleaning the rest of the house with a proper broom and mop. So I hope you found this video helpful, please leave a like if you found it entertaining, subscribe if you want more, and click on that notification bell to get updated every time there's a new video on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.